received. So the first one I got was from Al, and Al writes a very long question that basically says, I love writing poetry. <laughs> Should I write a poetry book? I know darn well that poetry books don't sell. Okay, uh, Al, uh, I think you should go for it, you know, all out, uh, why the hell not? <laughs> uh, and here's why. Uh, uh, it used to be the books were tremendously expensive to produce. Well, it used to be that, that no one would publish your book unless it was a publisher. And we've gotten past those days because on the Internet you can publish anything. And it used to be that publishing books was pretty expensive. Now they aren't. So if you want to do something for fun – if this is your life's passion, if this is what really turns you on, if this is what you want, you, you want to share with the world, then go for it because it certainly won't bankrupt your IRA or your retirement funds or anything else. Uh, so here's what I'd suggest. Uh, take your best, your best poems, you know, things that you really love, and put them into a book. Then have it copy edited. That will separate your book from all the other junk that's out there in ebook format because a lot of those other authors don't get their books copy edited, and people are very unforgiving about typos. Uh, granted, it's almost impossible to have a book that does have any typos, but you're only going to spot 80% of all the typos in your book. <laughs> I'm only going to spot 70%, so I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that you're a better proofreader than I am. You need a professional copy editor to proofread your book. They're not terribly expensive. You can look for them online. Uh, uh, they're, they're maybe three cents a word or something along those lines. So it's not terribly expensive. Spend a couple hundred dollars getting it copy edited once, then, then have someone else copy edited again because they will spot errors that the other person didn't spot. I am using a, uh, a grammar checker program called Pro Writing Aid. Uh, that's fairly inexpensive. Uh, people use Grammarly, people use Hemingway. I hate both of them. I actually hate, 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 hate both of them. I like Pro Writing Aid. That, uh, I just, in fact, I just ran Pro Writing Aid through a 30,000-word book I'm uh, co-writing with a doctor, and it found uh, it flagged 800 potential issues. <laughs> I'm glad to say that 100 were, were private words and names and things that it should have flagged, but the other 700 were like, holy cow. Uh, so he put the book on the table, but you leave out the word the. He put the book on table. Huh? Doesn't make sense. You cannot see that error. <laughs> if your mind assumes the word the is going to be there, it plugs it in visually for you, even though it's not there. Uh, so these grammar checkers for $80 or so can, can save your butt. So do that as a first step, then hire at least one and possibly two copy editors to uh, go through your book to make sure it's as clean as possible. Uh, then you uh, either can hire a layout person, they're not terribly expensive again, or you can go online and get some free templates. There's a site called Readsy, R-E-E-D-S-Y.com, I'll spell it again, R-E-E-D-S-Y.com, that has free templates. Um, they may suit your purposes, they may not, but it's worth a shot. And if it does, then great, you save some money. If not, uh, you can pay someone $100 or so to lay out your book. Uh, then you want a cover that looks good, and you can, again, hire someone to design a cover for you for $50 or $100 or $200. So, again, putting it all together, we're talking about less than $1,000 here. Um, and uh, give them some ideas. So look for a poetry book that you like, maybe three or four poetry books that you like, and send them images and say, here's what I like about this one, or here's what I don't like about that one, and that'll give them some guidance. Otherwise, you know, it's like you go into a supermarket and say, what do you want for dinner? Like, you can make 10 million different things. Same with artists. You have to give them some direction so they can put their talents and really focus and create a good cover for you. Okay, the next step, uh, again, back in the old days, you had to go to a printer and spend thousands of dollars to get thousands of books that would sit in your garage and uh, – uh, just to be a, a drain on, uh, on you. Uh, now you don't have to do that. We have something called print on demand. That means you can go to Amazon and go to their Kindle publishing platform, upload your book as a PDF along with the cover, and they will merge it all together and will print out as many copies as you like. So if you want 100 copies sent to you, it probably costs you about two, two and a half dollars a piece plus shipping. And that way you can start selling them or giving them out or distributing them or doing anything you want with them. So you don't have to have a garage full of books. You don't have to order a thousand copies of books. Uh, you know, that's, that's the way it's done these days. And if someone were to go to Amazon and want to buy the book, 
Amazon would just print one copy of the book and send it out to them, and it's cool. So you don't have to have a whole garage uh, full of books. Okay, uh, so how do you distribute it? Okay, um, poetry, well, po- poetry, frankly, is, uh, as, you, as you know, and as you said in your letter, you know, people don't buy a lot of poetry. Although I might add that uh, someone named Mary Oliver, who I just discovered, uh, my yoga teachers keep on quoting her in my yoga classes. Uh, she apparently just died and was wonderful. So I'm starting to read uh, books about or books by Mary Oliver on poetry. And she, she the bomb. She, she's good. <laughs> really good. Uh, so she might be the one poet that's really selling. Anyway, uh, it's hard to sell poetry. People don't buy poetry. People buy romance novels. Um, so, you know, that's just the way the world. So how can you sell these things? Well, you go to where people are interested in poetry. So you might uh, look online for meetups in your area and look for poetry meetups. And you may find a whole bunch of people just like you. And uh, you buy their books. They buy your books. Everyone's happy. You make some new friends. And uh, that's cool. Uh, there are also these things called poetry slams, which are very popular, where people get together and just do their poetry out loud in uh, like a nightclub setting, like a stand-up comedy. So it's cool. So check out those things, too. I'm sure you're aware of them anyway. But I wanted to, uh, if not, uh, there it is. So that's the answer to the question. Uh, I'll open up the phone line later to see if you have any uh, follow-up questions or thoughts about that, and I'll get you a few other questions.